Hey YouTube, it's Natasha here, Natasha Love. I'm here with you guys because I went to TJ Maxx. Um, the TJ Maxx by me, they normally have a lot of good stuff. Um, they just had did some remodeling to the store. And it seems like they're, they got better products. The only thing is that you gotta go get it when it's there. Otherwise it ain't gonna be there. Um, my TJ Maxx, to my knowledge, they only have real weight on some things, not clothes items. Um, yeah, I think that's because a lot of people wasn't picking up their real weight, maybe. Um, anyways, getting to this, um, there are a couple items that I don't have with me that are on this receipt. But I have one of them I can show you. So I'm going to start with the couple items that are not here. One of them was on sale for $7. It was a, what do you call it, a... Toothbrush slash soap dish that was for seven dollars and um what do you call it uh not cement stone it looked like marble it was very heavy so yeah the other one was uh, a pair of New Balance sneakers for forty dollars they look like these except they were dark blue these ones are mine I wear these to the gym sometimes I do have another pair of sneakers but yeah. Um, these ones I actually I bought these online and I paid uh, $30 um, I think yeah so yeah but that's a good deal because these go for at least $80 or more I know that these ones are more money that's the plain ones that are you know are at least 60 to $80 so anyways uh, to the items that are here I'm going to start with I got these vitamins. I like buying vitamins at uh, TJ Maxx because they're way cheaper um, than GNC, um, Walmart, many of those places. Like right here, it says compared to $18. These were $13.99. Um, they could be around $18. They're for uh, Be Happy to Be You. Um, it's for promotes healthy hair and nails. Comes with 200 strawberry flavored gummies. Um, it's bottle tin. You see, right? Um, they look like this. I did give half of it away to my mother to try because she doesn't buy anything really. But they do taste pretty good. You take two of them a day. So I got that. I they had this uh, perfume on sale, the CK1 Shock for her. Calvin Klein. It comes with this on the top, but without this. Basically, this comes off. For those of you who don't know, this perfume just comes off, and this is screwed onto it when you first get it, and then you have to take this and screw it on yourself, which I think is good. Um, this perfume, uh, Shock, uh, CK Shock, it tastes, tastes, sorry, <laughs> it smells like, uh, it's like a perf woody perfume, like a, it's like a citrus flower slash sandalwood smell, I would say. It's mixed with like a flower bouquet with a, and some wood sprinkled on with a squeeze of orange or some kind of citrus overall it smells good and i think it's a nice perfume for the spring um these i go for they go for at least uh, 40 dollars i know of um and this was well, they had it for 16 dollars i think it was i hate uh, yeah 16. so that's another item the other item i got oh this they had this, but it was also on sale for $13, and it's the, I don't know if I'm going to say that right, so I'm just going to show you, wait, I got to get a different, oh, different kind of, oh, there you go, it's eye cream, and I did look it up, the cheapest, it is is a uh, round it's fifty dollars or fifty four dollars it goes for in four weeks it's supposed to improve the appearance of fine lines dark circles while leaving the eye area looking younger so this was thirteen dollars that 
it was wow I was like so I've been using this for like the past week now uh, the next item I got was bare minerals bare minerals foundation goes for at least $40 um, this one I paid uh, $16.99 but you know it's better than paying $40 uh, this is bare mineral bare pro a liquid foundation I'm actually wearing it right now it is in a cashmere 06 there we go cashmere 06 so, uh, my skin uh, is mostly fair but it has a hint of medium uh, to it so this is a, it's good if any of you who wear bare minerals and want to try it uh, my skin is cashmere 06 so that's that one um I got this. I couldn't believe it. I've always been skeptical of buying it. It's the Simply Straight brush. They had it for just $14.99. They say compared at $30, but um, I'm not really sure of the price. It could be $30 or up. I did use it, and it works. The only thing is, you know, it, it takes time, but it is easier than holding up the straight iron, you know, and, holding it you know basically you know you brush it and it has these uh just like plastic or no rubber it's rubber you know with the plastic um and then it has this button this goes on and then it goes up to 450 degrees which is good that's good um if you have fine hair like say if your hair is wavy but you have fine hair uh i wouldn't go I wouldn't use 450. You're better off at 350. Um, if you have fine hair and let's just say it's curly, curly, the 350 might still be good or just go to 375. It's very nice that you can adjust it. Um, it does, you know, the cord is pretty long, which is good, but I couldn't believe that they had this for only 15 bucks. And, uh, they do show it on TV. It was very popular, uh, not last year, I think back in 2017. They have all different kinds of people's hair on there. Uh, so yeah, uh, it does work. It does. You just have to uh, make sure you have the time to do it though. You need at least 30 minutes, I would say, depending on how long your hair is. Yeah, if your hair is short, like say maybe like up to here you'd be done in like 10 minutes or less um i have not tried it with damp hair i don't know if you should uh look it up before you do in case um next i got these sip on uh sneakers by madden girl that is a, another brand of steve madden and steve madden is expensive um they you're not going to guess how much I got it for. It was on sale. Then it was on sale sale. And then I got the last of it because it was on sale. And I saw it. And I got it for only... Well, I can't even see what the compare price is. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Compared at... Well, they have it compared at $32. But it might be more because it's by Steve Madden, Madden Girl. Six dollars. I paid six dollars for these nice, these cute slip-on shoes, sneakers. Very nice. I like how they have this stretchy thing. Stretchy thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a little late. Uh, the stretchy thing. So basically, when you're walking, because it's soft over here, you won't get a blister or anything. You know, some new shoes, they cause you to get blisters and stuff, especially if they're flats or have a back. Um, but yeah, I couldn't believe these were six bucks. And yes, these were the only pair. And that's what I mean. If you, TJ Maxx, they have good things and cheap stuff, but you gotta be there when they got it. Otherwise, it's gonna be gone. So that's that. Um, next thing I got, they already have Easter stuff there. And oh, their dresses are so beautiful and so cheap. 
You know, instead of going to Walmart and spending that $20, go to TJ Maxx and spend $20 for a high-end brand name or somebody like Jessica Simpsons or Ralph Lauren or, you know, I got these leggings. I bought two pairs because I have two daughters. Um, these are Easter leggings. They, they feel soft. They're not cotton. Um, I, maybe polyester. I'm not sure what that... Uh, Sometimes they make gym clothes out of it. I'm not sure what that brand, that material is. But these bunny ears feel so soft. They do. Um, so this one right here is an extra small, which is for a 4T or 6T. Unless um, your child is tall, but a little bit chunky. If they're younger, you know, a younger person, like a 4-year-old or maybe a 3.5-year-old could fit into this. Um, and then this is also medium large for, well, it says 12 to 14 year old, but I'm going to say this is more for a 10 year old. Well, my 10 year old, she's pretty tall. So, yes, yeah, so I got two of them. And these were only $5.99. So that's nice, you know? They could rather wear it before Easter, they could wear it on Easter if they don't feel like wearing a dress. Or they could wear a dress and then change it to this. But got two of those so that's that i also got this passport cover for five dollars well it was 4.99 says upgrade me it's nice and it's cheap because you know i was looking at passport covers on a victoria secret and they're charging at least 15 dollars no i think it was 15 dollars for theirs but i can't remember if that was on sale now on sale or not on sale, that still beats five dollars. Still beats, you know, Victoria's Secret. I like it because you put your passport here, you put your money or tickets, whatever here, then you you know you put your cards here, you put your ID there, your driver's license. And there you go. Um, let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, next they had a. They had toys, so uh, I got this Play-Doh kit, it's like a grocery Play-Doh kit, um, my kids like playing with Play-Doh and we also do have a Baby Alive dolls, um, they do eat Play-Doh shaped as little snacks and cookies and whatnot. Um, so in the back, you can see. It does come with Play-Dohs on this side and little Play-Dohs around this side. And these are the cookie cutters or Play-Doh cutters. <laughs> um, there's some stencils in here. As you can see, they're showing you some of the product and they have different ones. There is a fork in here. Looks like a bowl or something. Um, anyways. There's, yeah, there's egg molds in here and stuff. It says this kit is com is compared at $15 and I paid $11.99 for this. But if you buy this at the store, it's at like 20 bucks because it comes with the Play-Doh and all the stencils and the molds. So that was good. And then I got this big Easter plush. Um, I got this for my younger daughter. It's oh, you can just squeeze it. <laughs> uh, uh, this one says, uh, "Oh, it's a Peter Rabbit plush, uh, cuddly pal." So, Flopsy Bunny. Isn't that so cute? It's so fluffy. It's so oh man, you just want to squeeze something. Squeeze this. Anyway, so this was compared to uh, $16.99 and I paid $13. I've seen these and these cost like around 20 bucks. It also depends on how big it is and whose face is on it, you know? Sometimes you're just paying for the logo or basically the brand name. But yes, got this to put in a... Um, to give as an Easter present, along with the basket. 
Um, next, you're looking at me pulling something out. I got this laundry basket. I'm talking about baskets. So nice. Has handles, it's metal. It uh, comes with this. So you don't need a laundry bag. You got it comes with one. Um this was compared to tw at $24. I got I paid uh, $16.99 for it. But because it comes with the bag and it's nice, it's like a, a canvas uh, laundry bag. Um, I think it could be more like $30 or something, depending on where. Um, last but least, this was my best deal. This blanket. This blue fuzzy soft blanket. This, as you can see, it's like a fur blanket. Fax fur, and then on the inside it's velvet. So both sides are soft, and I like this color blue. It's like a lake blue. Um, this is in the clearance section, in a clear bag. If you don't care about the packaging, get the item. You know, um, this was eight dollars. Eight dollars. I know these go for at least $20, maybe $16 the cheapest, but it's not going to feel as soft and fluffy as this is. This, it's really warm. You could put it on a bed. You could put it on a queen size bed, full size, queen full size bed. It's like super long. It's like, I'm like a... What do you call it? I'm 5'8 and the blanket's as long as I am. So you could fit it on a full size, queen size bed. Um, if you have a king size, that's fine. But you know, it's not gonna take a king size. But you know, it would definitely fill up a twin size and a full size. But it is so soft. It's like a, the perfect, it's not too thick, it's not too thin. Um, I know I got those uh, Madden Girl shoes for six bucks, but this, this is the best deal that I feel that I got in this TJ Maxx when I went shopping that day. So, oh, it's so soft. Everybody loves soft stuff at my house. So, yes. So, um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope you liked everything uh, that I showed you. Um, if you like this video, please comment or... You know, you can subscribe or just like this video and uh, I'll be back.